Alrighty, what the fuck? I thought that was a bug on my floor for a moment. I was about to lose my goddamn mind. Okay, so... Along- oh shit, I almost dropped my keyboard. Along with Xbox, yesterday, Capcom had- not yesterday, my bad. What was it, two days? Was it yesterday? It was either yesterday or two days ago. Something like that. Along with that, um, with the Xbox stuff, where's my mouse? There it is. Um, Capcom also had a showcase, which they did last year, and last year's showcase, I didn't even bother fucking- I don't think I bothered recording or putting that up, because it was boring as shit, and they showed nothing. Um, they didn't show much, honestly, right? This year, I hope they show more. And surprisingly, um, <coughs> I will say, when I was searching for where to watch it at, um, I did search for, uh, for it at IGN. IGN didn't have the video up there, and I don't think they had any, like, they didn't have any trailers from this either, so I'm not spoiled on anything here. Um, well, I gotta say I'm not spoiled on, eh, kind of maybe, because again, just like the Summer Game Fest thing, uh, someone told me that like, ah, oh, it's a new Monster Hunter, but I don't believe that. I think that's way too fucking soon for a new Monster Hunter. If it is anything for Monster Hunter, it would just be a title update for Monster Hunter Rise, probably like the final title update maybe. But um, other than that, everything else completely new. I don't know anything what's going to happen. So Capcom, right? What I assume I'm going to see here, I have not seen anything, so... This is full predictions, and I actually do have some actual predictions here. Um, I I expect to see either them talking a little bit about Resident Evil 4 VR for the PS2, or if it's coming to, or maybe a port for Resident Evil VR for the Quest or whatever. Maybe, you know, some sort of PC port for it, maybe. If not, then probably a separate ways DLC for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Um, and probably that, I don't think we'll hear anything about like a Resident Evil 5 remake or Code Veronica remake or anything like that. I think that's way too soon. Why the fuck would they want to kill their sales, especially when they're already doing stuff for Resident Evil 4 remake? Um, so on that note, one of the things I really hope to see here, um, two things actually. I want to see, this one's more of a like wishful thinking here. I want to see, listen, I haven't finished the Great Ace Attorney stuff. Right? I still have to play the second game. I still have to stream that, which I will. I will. Maybe this month, maybe next month. I'll do it really soon. I promise. I promise. I just got to go through some games first, some other games first. Um, and I'm going to try and stream more now since I now have the time to do so. But um, I hope we see the Miles Edgeworth investigation games, right? I know, uh, I believe Ghost Trick is owned by Capcom. So I know they're going to talk about that remaster or remake. I, I forgot which it was. It was either remaster or remake. Um, I never played Ghost Trick, right? On that note, does fucking does Capcom own Elite Beat Agents? Because I would love to see a remake of that, <laughs> or that brought back. Because Elite Beat Agents is cool as shit. Um, wishful thinking again. Okami Three. I kind of always want it, but more importantly, this one's kind of less of wishful thinking. This one's more of I think it's time we need to see it. Is uh, Pragmata? They announced that like two years ago, maybe the launch of the PS5 around the launch of the PS5. Um, and we don't know what the fuck it is. It, it, to me, it just looks like a more sci-fi version of Death Stranding, maybe. But then there's, like, the robot cat and then the little girl who might also be a robot, I think. Actually, that's a lie. I think they had, like, a new trailer for it, like, uh, like six months ago or something like that. But it, it wasn't really that much. Um, Capcom's also, they're, they're Exil Primal, right? So, yeah, they're Exil Primal, I think. So, uh, they're gonna probably talk about that a little bit. Um, what else? I think it's too soon to announce anything new with Mega Man, but there were, there were, uh, what was it? It was, I think it was like a year ago or a year and a half ago. There was like that big Capcom leak that had like, that had like a lot of things on it. Like, you know, Resident Evil 4 remake was on it and, and so, so was the, uh, Mega Man collections and, um, and, uh, and the re-releases of the, uh, of the Ace Attorney stuff. And I think Okami was also on there too, maybe. But um, most of that leak seemed to have been true, right? So maybe, maybe we'll just get that. And if that is true, I think there might have been like a, one of the Devil May Cry games might have had like a remake on it or something. And they're probably going to talk about some extra stuff for uh, Street Fighter 6 because that just came out. And it is popping and it's great. If you, if you have not played Street Fighter 6 and you're looking to get into fighting games... Street Fighter 6 is definitely the way to go, right? Now, me, I've been playing fighting games for a long-ass time. I'm above average, I would say. You know, I'm not, I'm not that good, but um, it, it's really clean. I like it. I like it a lot. I've been playing the fuck out of that, kind of just waiting for uh, 
for Final Fantasy um, 16 to come out this month. But other than that, I don't think I have any more um, predictions. But I, there's probably some things that they announced that I've probably forgotten about. Because they probably haven't shown in a while. It'd be crazy if we see a fucking uh, Dead Rising. But they kind of killed that, right? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase. Oh, what if we had a fucking new Darkstalkers? Before we get started, we'd like to share that June 11th, 2023 marked Capcom's... Now, I do know that they do have a sale going on on Steam, which I'm probably going to go buy some Thank stuff from. Everyone for playing our games. I almost got mad. I almost got mad because they showed Ghost and Goblins again. They keep remaking that game. Who gives a shit? Also, they just showed some Phoenix Wright shit. So please, re-release those. Not release those, uh, localize them to the US. I actually know what the 3DS ones were already on the... I think there's like maybe one 3DS one that wasn't localized? Path of the God Goddess. Wait, they announced that before, right? Yeah, they did. Yeah, this was at Summer Game Fest, right? Yeah, this is one of the games that I didn't fucking know what the hell it was. Was Azor's, was Azor's Wrath also Capcom? I think it was. Because right now it's kind of looking a little bit like Azor's Wrath, right? It's not, but, you know, it's looking like it a little bit. Looks cool. Looks cool already. I like it. I like it a lot. You have Team Ninja fucking run for their money. It's a robot ninja, maybe. I have no idea what's happening right now, but I'm loving it. Also, I just want to point out, um, real quick, the uh, we're watching this off of GameSpot stuff. The bit rate, if it's if it if it doesn't look that good, it's not my fault. It's their fault. So of course, the uh, trailers and stuff aren't going to look as good as they can. So if you want to see them again, go and check them out on their respective channels. Here's some cool monster designs. Definitely some Okami shit. Definitely some Okami shit. Okay, now we're seeing some actual gameplay. It looks pretty clean. Animations are really fluid, and I like it a lot. And I love the fucking, um... What is it? It's like, I don't want to... It's not... It's not water painting, it's- what, what is it? It's- it's like the thick fucking calligraphy ink shit. Path of Godless. Godless. Goddess. My bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's coming to everything. Cool. Cool, cool. Looks nice. It, it might be like a roguelike game. Japanese aesthetics come to life through the using the Reach for the Moon engine! Hell yeah! Experience a unique They've been using a fuck out of the engine, and they should because it's a really good engine. Very, it's really versatile too. Mystery awaits in Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Way better than Square Enix's fucking engine that they had. Oh my god, is Square Enix doing a presentation too? PlayStation 5 and Steam. What was Square Enix's engine that they abandoned? X Dive Offline is coming to Steam, iOS, and What? No! No. Listen, I haven't played Mega Man X Dive, but I've heard the stories. I heard the stories, and a lot of people are not happy about it. <laughs> the deep walk, which holds collective. Because it's like it's like a mobile gotcha thing, right? It's a gotcha game, right? Am I wrong about this? Cyberspace using hunter programs to recover data before it's too late. It's a gotcha game, right? As Mega Man X and other characters from the Mega Man franchise, including characters that, that was... haven't been playable before. Oh my God! It's the Wily's Castle theme. Trombone! Oh my God! I love her so much. <laughs> I love Trombone. Level up your favorite characters and now why the fuck would I want to play as Sigma? Power up your weapons and more to customize your character. That's a lie. Uh. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Sigma was a great DLC character. Wait, he said offline or online? 
That assistant's character looks like the most fucking hot to name you can think I've ever seen in my life. Complete stages and you she just looks like a fucking Hatsune Miku costume. Oh my god. Analyze recovered memories to unlock characters. There are more than 900 stages to play. Oh, it's a gotcha game. <laughs> it's a gotcha game, right? The clash with familiar bosses from the past. Build the ultimate hunter and save the deep log from total destruction. You can't, mm, you can't say no to this, though, right? Can you? You want to say no to it, but you can't because it's Mega Man. Offline. So, oh shit! Wait a minute. Wait, why is it called offline though? It is a gotcha thing. Now, here's the Capcom Spotlight Corner. What's the spotlight? Why it's in the corner? You gonna make it fight back? Street Fighter Six. New era of fighting games is upon us. Where's Little Wayne? I'm not buying it unless I see Little Wayne. Yo, DJ is really mean in that game. He's scary. <laughs> DJ's fucking scary as shit. Street Fighter 6 includes World Tour, an expansion. And World Tour is clean as fuck, man. I easily put in like fucking 30 hours on that shit, but also I was fucking around with like all the fighting styles and stuff, so. And Battle Hub, a social space where players from around the world can compete and hang out. These are the game's three main modes. In addition, we're planning mm -hmm. to release new fighters. Aki, which is probably the new Fong. The Them retrying Fong, right? Rashid, who's clean, Akuma, because Akuma has to be there, and Ed. Street Fighter 6 is out now for PlayStation 5. Ed's probably going to be replacing Balrog from now on, honestly. Don't miss it. Yeah, it's, uh... Street Fighter 6 is clean as hell. It's worth it. And you're damn right I got those fucking... Those classic costumes. I did not pay for it. I unlocked that shit. This year's Capcom Pro Tour will feature Street Fighter 6, the newest entry in the series. The winner will get a million dollars. Regional matches and battle to be this year's champion. To celebrate the launch of Street Fighter 6, this year we have our largest prize pool ever. The total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour is over two million dollars, with one million dollars going to first place. Capcom Pro Tour 2023 will feature three types of tournaments. Man, the tax on that shit is going to be super hard. Offline premiers and World Warrior. The winners of each tournament will advance to the World Finals at Capcom Cup 10. Stay tuned to see which player will crush the competition and take home this year's championship. Next, we have news about Street Fighter League Pro JP 2023. In Street Fighter League, the world's top players form teams of four and compete in official Capcom Team League matches. They're really going all out for this shit, huh? Team, team body star. <laughs> will be streamed live on the Capcom Fighters JP channel on YouTube and Twitch. Don't forget about the Street Fighter League World Championship 2023. The U.S. and European leagues will determine the teams that will go on to compete in the World Championship. Look at that man staring you down. <laughs> that coach staring you down. Get up close and personal with Resident Evil 4 on PlayStation 5. The game's main story will be playable in VR with PlayStation VR 2. Thanks to the power of PlayStation VR 2, you'll be able to experience an even more immersive version of the game. Thanks to the power of PlayStation VR 2, to survive. we will make sure that you shit yourself. Our cutting edge knife action is a core part of the game. And the PlayStation VR2 Sense Controller makes parrying even more intuitive. Experience extreme survival horror firsthand. Resident Evil 4 VR Mode is a free DLC exclusive to PlayStation VR2. Is it time to exclusive? Please tell me it's coming to PC, man. Now on oh, to the next Pragmata. lineup. There we go. Let's see something on it. I want to I want to see what the game actually is.
Wait, so is our- wait. In the original trailer, the main character was pretty silent, so now he has a voice? I'm assuming that's the main character. Don't tell me it's a roguelike. Please, anything but a roguelike. <laughs> sorry. She's like, listen, I'm sorry, okay? We tried. Oh. This had perfect dodge and shit. It's a character action? I'm gonna wait for people to start comparing this to Megan. And be like, oh, this is a, this, you're a you're an astronaut and you're hanging out with Megan. To all our respective fans with heavy hearts, we must further postpone it. Hey, at least you said something, right? And you know what? Even when they first showed it off, it, like, it really didn't seem like they were that far into development, so... Unlike Senua, we've been waiting forever. Oh, Ghost Trick. I kind of don't want to look because I don't want to be spoiled. Because I heard nothing but good things about Ghost Trick. And I heard that it had like a really good plot twist or something like that. almost time for the game's release. And I can't wait for you to play it. But first, let's get started with this. Stick him up, girly. Seems like you died. Oh, God. Oh, she died. Are those donuts or onion rings? Oh, he's going to shoot the dog. <laughs> there's a demo available. The oh, demo there's a demo available. Is available now for download. The story says a lonely spirit named Cecil. In the course of I kind of want. He will meet and you know what? Ghost Trick is. From what I heard, Ghost Trick is. Uh, highly narrative based. Right? So, uh. <laughs> so, so I'm not. I'm going to refrain from playing the demo. Inviting you into a great big mystery. It's been 30 years since we made a recent game. And just like Cecil, I met many new people, and there were many miracles that occurred during its development. I have no doubt these experiences are what shaped Ghost Trick into the unforgettable game of this. To the team that lovingly folded this game, and all the fans have shown so much love towards it, I'm so grateful to all of you. I'm thrilled. That through this river, Ghost Trick will be available to so many more people around the world. Now, and then hopefully we can get, hopefully we can get like more money in the, uh, and one more thing. in the visual novel this department for Capcom. Very hard for two weeks for this appearance, so should be me someday. It will make me very happy if it could speak in Japanese. Oh, trust me, dude. I'm planning on it. I'm planning on it. Why is the Pixar lamp talking to me? <laughs> From the creator of the Ace Attorney series, Shu Takumi, this classic mystery game is being reborn. One night, a man named Sissel loses both his memory and his life. Using the power Almost of like death, Naku Sakuraba. He tries to solve the mystery of his own death. The only clue he has is a red-headed detective. A night of mystery begins anew. A rookie detective, brimming with a sense of justice. She too is being targeted, and Sissel witnesses her death. Who was I? Why was I killed? Who killed me? And what does it mean that I was given these powers of the dead? Dude, I can't wait to like start playing this game and then do what I did with Danganronpa when I streamed that and fucking just like call out the main plot of the game super early in the game and have people go, no, that's not the plot. And just get gaslit the entire, the entire playthrough. You can then trick the objects you possess. Trick the guitar to play it. What will happen when you trick the cart? Trick the door to open it. Possessing and tricking objects will let you access new areas. Trick the knife. <laughs> Trick stab the guy. Four minutes before someone's death. What happened before her murder? 
You can go back four minutes before the dog's death. <laughs> that man really was ready to shoot the fucking dog, the little Pomeranian. In real time. The limit, however, is four minutes. Help people avoid near-death predicaments and change their fates. Sissel will face death in many forms. Oh, the Pomeranian. Changing their fates will change the story. And that story must be linked in some way to the mystery. So is it just Ghost death? Trick 1? Because I heard there was two of them. Ghost Trick, launching on June 30th. I'm guessing it's just the first one's getting getting redone. Demo version available now. Don't miss the pre-order bonuses. See the official website for details. Okay. I'm excited about Ghost Trip. Now on to the I think I might get it on Switch up. just to have it on the go. Just like I did with Ace Attorney. World premiere? Got something new? A new Tron Bond game. Apollo Justice is... <gasps> they are fucking bringing them! <laughs> They're releasing all of them! I gotta look away. I gotta look away. I gotta skip this. I gotta skip this. I can't. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. I, You know what? You guys can watch it. I'm gonna look away. I'm not gonna read any of the dialogue. I, I have to not see this. Listen, guys. Real talk right now. If you're watching this video, right... I don't even want to see what characters are on the screen right now. I don't need to. Um, if you want to see, like, one of the most fun playthroughs I've ever did on my stream. On my channel, I did the full... It, it was when the PS5 came out, too, so I was really hyped at the time for some reason, playing fucking Ace Attorney on the PS5. Um, I did a full playthrough of all three games in the Ace of Trilogy. Uh, Ace of Trilogy, yeah, we're gonna call it that. In the Ace Attorney Trilogy HD uh, remasters, all that's on my channel. All streams. One of the most, one of the most fun playthroughs I've ever did for each game. Love the story, love the characters, love the community that was in the chat. Loved it, 100%. They were great. They were awesome. Um, great Ace Attorney. I did the first game. That's on my channel as well. I haven't, you know, I've beaten that one. I didn't like it as much as the trilogy, but I am going to be doing the second game within, like, probably next month. Probably not this month, but next month, most likely. But yeah, you can, you can, check, you can check all that out on my channel. Trust me. If you like Ace Attorney, I, I think you'll like the, I think you'll like the playthrough. I think you'll really like the playthrough. Alright. That's my sales pitch. I have to do a sales pitch because I can't look at the screen. I don't even want to see what characters are there. I don't want to see their redesigns. I don't, I don't want to, I don't even want to fucking hear the music, but I gotta hear it. Also, did they, wait, did... Oh, they're doing voice lines? I'm, I'm listening to what he's saying, but... Oh my god. Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney Trilogy is currently in development for release in early 2020. And I guess if Apollo Justice does well, then uh, they're gonna bring over the Miles Edgeworth's games. Because also the uh, Ryunosuke games, those were Japanese only for a while too, right? We have some Capcom news to share. Alright, we're good. I can look at the screen now. <laughs> Shit. I gotta look away. This month marks Capcom's 40th anniversary. As part of the celebration, we've opened a digital theme park called Capcom Town. Well, that's cool. Take a stroll through the museum to view original artwork and other materials from various titles on display. That's really cool. You can even play a few of Capcom's beloved classics for free. Don't tell me this is like a time limited thing. Head on over to the castle to cast your vote in the Capcom elections. Participants will receive a special reward, so don't miss out. We can't wait for everyone to enjoy these attractions. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Along with the many other fun experiences. Oh, it's a website thing. Okay. A Capcom ID account is required to play Resident Evil RE-verse. Is RE-verse even good? 
I heard it was nothing but bad. Maybe they made it better. Street Fighter Six. Hey Capcom, do me a favor and uh, re-release Raccoon City on Steam, please. <laughs> so I can play that terrible game. Because right now the only way I have to play is either go buy like either a PS3 or Xbox copy or um, the PlayStation 3 st uh, streaming stuff. Not play yeah, this play yeah, yeah, yeah. Sony streaming stuff for PS3. Now for the latest on Exo Primal ahead of next month's launch. Hello everyone. I'm Takuro Hidaoka. Please don't please don't rephrase the things you said in Xbox's stuff. I'm excited to share the latest Exo Primal news with you all. But first, let's check out this video. They did show uh on Summer Game Fest, they did show that uh they're going to do like uh exo suits for like the uh hello? street fighter characters hello my name is Garrett Trout. okay i was never that big into dino crisis honestly so certain names i don't know the only name i know is regina or regina however the fuck you say her name Okay. Is that single player content? Or is it just story content that's like a uh, co op? That was a thick accent. <laughs> really? <laughs> the most stereotypical black guy voice? Man, these dinosaurs out here be bleeding black. Like, goddamn. Making my people sound like fucking clowns. I will say, uh... When playing the beta, when we did fight the boss dinosaurs, they were really fun. It was definitely the most fun part of the beta. Go ahead. Oh, come on. I thought they were going to say their names one by one. I thought the redhead was going to be like, my name's Regina. The perfect exosuit development project is nearing fruition. Activating Massacre Montreal. Summoning Neo T-Rex Swarms. Neo T-Rex Swarms. To make a better exosuit. Good hunting, Ace. I'm guessing Ace is the name of our uh, create a character character. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it yet, though. kind of want to. I kind of want to. These are skins. Okay, they're skins. They're not exosuits. Head start kit? Oh, oh, they're going to try and make this a live service thing, aren't they? If they are, it better be good as fuck. Oh, no. Oh, you guys really better have some good content on there. You're doing all this for it. You're doing a lot for it. They're doing a lot for this game in like in a. Did they didn't even have a fucking release date like two weeks ago. <laughs> Before we dive in, I'd like to give a huge thanks to all the players who participated in the open beta test back in March. We were extremely pleased to have so many participants. Plus, you gave us a lot of invaluable feedback. We can't thank you enough. Well, only oh. portions of the time. Okay, the video froze for a moment. I don't know what the fuck that was about. Today, we'll be introducing more content included in the full game. Let's take a look at what you can expect when Exo Primal launches on July 14th. Let's start with the story. Ace, the game's protagonist, is transported to the year 2040. And forced to wow, the bitrate is really looking like shit. Oh my god. The story unfolds Not for the game, just for the video, because holy shit. Gathering intel to update the analysis map unravels the mysteries surrounding parallel worlds and the AI entity known as Leviathan. 
At times, players will also engage in special boss battles as part of That's a cool ass. Story. That is a cool ass looking exosuit. Mode will also change as the story progresses. You'll unlock new missions with a variety of objectives, including 10 player co-op, a multitude of dinosaurs to fight, and more maps. The game will also feature an assortment of unlockables and challenges. You know, you can you can buy it with the with the battle pass. And modify active skills. These modules can be obtained by fulfilling certain conditions while you play the I'm not sure if I prefer loot boxes over battle passes, I'll be honest. At least battle pass, you know what you're getting, but at the same time it's a, it's a fucking chore and I ain't got time for that bullshit. The game also features a special five player mission that changes weekly. Compete with squads from around the world for the fastest completion times, or by earning awards through achievements, like most damage block with a tank suit in battle. There are many ways to enjoy the game, even after completing the main story. We took your feedback into consideration as well. In the full version of Exoprimal, we plan to implement a mode where victory is determined by completing the Thank you. As quickly as possible, Thank you. Instead of direct combat with other players. We hope you look forward to that. Now, let's Because that that was weird. In the in the in the beta it's like, "Oh, you did the first round good." New face. What do you mean? What new face you talking about? Okay. Um Yeah, in the beta it's like, "Oh, yeah, you did great in the first round. Here's your here's your benefit. You get a head start and it like didn't fucking matter at all. Like the head start was pretty worthless." And then uh especially if like the other team coordinated good enough to fucking like just wreck your team by just running over there and fucking you guys up. It's like, yeah, it didn't matter. Players will even encounter dangerous mutations of dinosaurs. I will say controlling these fucking exosuits was really good in the in the beta though. You'll need to work together with your team to stand a chance at taking them down. Oh no. Is that a swarm of Neo T Rexes? What are Leviathan's true intentions? I would like to play a game. While it may look similar to Deadeye. This exosuit is a variant called Deadeye Alpha Burst Fire. Unlike the default Deadeye, this variant comes equipped with a weapon that can burst fire or be used as a shotgun, allowing exofighters to change their style of play. Exosuit variants, including Deadeye That shotgun Alpha, better have like a really wide spread. Or be used like for a shit ton of damage on like one big enemy that lets you take on special five player missions that change weekly in this mode players can enjoy a change of pace from dino survival by competing against exo fighters from all over the world for the fastest completion time more info about can we just have like a def a death match mode you know forget forget the dinosaur shit right just have like just have like a 10 on 10 death match Whoever kills the most wins. That we'll be holding a second open beta test. Okay. This time we're including additional story related missions. All right. Ten player co-op missions. And other adjustments based open on beta on the 16th. Oh wait, is that happening already? Check out the official website for dates. Wait, no. Today's the today's the 14th or the 15th, something like that. We hope you're all so like this weekend. Try out this new content. Players will also receive a new reward for participating. Don't miss out. We'll continue to make adjustments to Exo Primal, leading up to the game's launch on July 14th. Thank you again for all the feedback. We look forward to seeing you in the second open beta test. That's all we have for you. The second open beta test? They had like a second one already. It's going to oh wait, no, it would be the second open beta. They had a closed beta, and then they had an open beta. And then they, they're doing another open beta, okay. Dragon Dogma 2! Oh, that's the last time. You know what? I didn't say Dragon Dogma in the predictions. I should have, because they showed trailers for it. They're like way, uh... They're like way more done with that game than I thought they would be. Because when they first announced it, they just showed a... They just showed a fucking logo. Hi, everyone. My name is Hideaki Itsuno, 
What I heard from people though, because I haven't played Dragon uh, Dogma, but what I heard from people is that uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is kind of, like, they said it kind of just looks like them trying to redo Dragon Dogma 1. Like, people said that the locations look the same and, like, some of the other shit look the same. So, I'm not sure if, if it's, like, an actual sequel or if it's kind of like a soft reboot. Which, either or would be fine, I guess. Jennifer, is that you? Then where might our true Arisen? Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. Remember when people were like, losing their fucking minds when uh, the Harry Potter, when Hogwarts Legacy was coming out? And then they were like, they were like, this is not how you cast magic spells. This is how you do it in the game, and they showed, like, I think some of it was Dragon's Dogma, and, like, aren't the spells for that, like, the equivalent of pressing one button and having, like, a big spell go off, and maybe you get to control the direction of it? Oh my god, those monsters look scary as fuck, and I love it. Right? And then fucking Hogwarts Legacy came out, and, like, that game is clean as fuck. <laughs> I remember watching that and I'm like, yeah guys, video games are different. Sometimes you need basic spells in order to play the game before you use the big ones. Calm down guys, calm down, alright? Yeah, acting like you don't got a regular projectile. The action RPG game Dragon's Dogma was released in 2012. And it bombed. Now, a decade later, I'm proud to share a look at the highly anticipated... It bombed not because it was bad, but because it just didn't sell well. Today I want to talk about two characteristics that Dragon's Dogma 2 will inherit. And also around that time, Capcom was doing real bad with like all the Dragon's shitty Dogma Resident Evil stuff in the game, in the um um like in the Devil May Cry reboot. <laughs> second, gameplay will feature action role -playing and remember me, remember that game? I sure as fuck don't, and I just said it. Dragon's Dogma series, you embark on your adventures with pawns, otherworldly beings controlled by AI, alongside the player-controlled Arisen. You can embark on your journey with a main pawn that can be customized to your liking, as well as up to two additional support pawns you can borrow from other players to form a party of up to four characters. Pawns are controlled by the AI and are now capable of even more precise decisions than in the previous title. Help Wasn't their decisions like really precise in the first game? They can also help guide you to new locations. Or give you a high five oh I know you know what I know what happened I'm, I'm thinking of I'm thinking about that fucking idiot who is like oh yeah they're making a new a new the fucking idiot that told me like yeah they're making a new fucking monster hunter and like I forgot that that guy's just stupid and he doesn't fucking know what the hell he's talking about I completely forgot that like dragon's dogma is literally just a a more more expansive monster hunter will feel like they've been reborn in this vibrant fantasy world. You can look forward to a variety of vocations to choose from. Your vocation will shape your Arisen's role throughout the adventure. Will you take on enemies with swords? Magic? It's all up to you. We'll have much more to Can I shoot it? Future. Can I shoot it with a gun? Now, I guess I can I shoot it with an arrow. Sections from the trailer that show what we've improved for Dragon's Dogma 2. That's nice. This game is designed to enable players to take on situations in So, so breakable environments, I'm guessing. Advanced technology like immersive physics brings pawns, monsters and NPCs to life. What would happen if you destroyed that bridge or if you pulled that monster's leg? What other exciting possibilities can you think of? They were like, guys, we played Shadows of the Colossus, and we were like, okay, but what if the monsters on like a smaller scale, and like we, uh, and we, uh, you know, we did some more physics-based shit. Of the beast rank, which appear in the series for the first time. What destiny awaits? How will they affect your fate? The intricate relationships and situations you will encounter in the game are sure to keep you on your toes. And that character is just fucking Yennefer. <laughs> from the previous game, as well as new monsters such as Medusa. 
You can look forward to new player vocations and many new You can make an air bridge. To Dragon's Dogma 2. Or an ice bridge, whatever the fuck that was. Please stay tuned for more I also love how the Arisen just looks like a Dark Souls so character. And I think I think they might have done that on purpose just to fool people to buy the game. Make it looks like make it look like Dark Souls. So that's the last thing Capcom showing. Dragon's Dogma 2 will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox And then of course the 40th anniversary sale, which I'm probably gonna buy some stuff from today. And now a quick look at the Capcom 40th anniversary sale. Kicking things off, we have well-known titles. Hey guys, Dragon's, Dragon's Dogma is great, and Phoenix Wright is great. Don't miss this Worth it. Everything you see here is pretty goddamn good. Even DMC Devil May Cry. The story shit, but the gameplay is actually really solid. Onimusha is great. Buy Onimusha. Strider is also great. They're all good. They're, they got some really good games on sale. There. They're all really good. Thank you for watching. We're always working on new games and updates. And we hope you're as excited as we are for Capcom's 40th anniversary. I'm very excited. I'm very happy that Capcom isn't... That Capcom isn't fucking dying like it was in 20... Like, what, 2010 to 2013, maybe? Right? <laughs> Ghost trick. <laughs> and then they're just gonna do that. Alright, stop looking at my... Stop looking at my... My, my recommends. Alright? Okay, so... Look at that cool-ass Mac. Motherfucker kinda looks like a bootleg j -Huti. Um, <laughs> imagine if we got a Zone of the Enders 3. Imagine if Konami was cool enough to be like, all right, we got the best mech designers in the world to make us a sweet new Zone of the Enders. Jehu T Mark 4. Yeah, that's right. We skipped fucking 2 and 3. We went to 4. Um, yeah, but Capcom, right off the bat, I'm just going to say it. Their showcase was way better than fucking Xbox, and I want to point out, this isn't like a who won, who won. I'm not IGN, so I'm not going to do a fucking dumbass video that's like, who won Summer Game Fest? But let's be honest, though, fucking Xbox wasn't really that good for their showcase. It was pretty lackluster. They really they really didn't show much. Um, But yeah, what, what is this game called? Uh, Something about my goddess? Something about that? Path of the goddess? Path to my, to my goddess? Path of the goddess, yep. It looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's rocking the RE engine. Art style and the colors. I love it. Right? Here, I wanted to pause here. Um, I can't tell if this area... Well, first of all, it's going to be character action, right? But I can't tell if this area is like a Devil May Cry fucking... Here's the red door. We, I'm moving my mouse again and you guys can't see it. But uh, it's like uh, up top, you see like the enemy coming out the red portal. I can't tell if that's like a Devil May Cry, like here's the red door area and you're just locked in here and you fight a couple enemies and then you move on. Or if this game is like somewhat of a roguelike. Um, because none of the characters so far seemed like an actual like main character. They just kind of seem like, seem like a class you pick or something like that. But I can't really tell. I really can't tell, right? I can't even tell if it was like one. Oops, my bad. I did not mean to right click there. Uh, I can't even tell if it's like one character or more than one. Yeah, because you got all these characters doing like bow shit and arrow shit, hatchet shit. But the only character you really see gameplay wise is the dude with the, you know, dude with the sword. So it's really hard for me to tell what kind of, what kind of, what kind of like, you know, like how, how the flow of the game is going to be. But I, I'm very excited. What the fuck was that? I was Maximilian. Of course he's going hype over fucking Capcom. I love that dude. Um, but yeah, that's pretty clean. Mega Man X Dive. I've heard, I've heard nothing. See, earlier I said I heard nothing but horror stories about this. Let me, let me reiterate that. I the reason I say horror stories is let's get a let's get a let's get a better screenshot, alright? Something that actually shows the characters, thank you. Uh the reason that <laughs> Iris, no, why is this happening? What am I what am I fighting for? <laughs> right? Um So oh my god, I didn't even notice fucking Axel up there. Holy shit, of course he's there. Um Yeah, so 
I have not heard that Mega Man uh, X Dive is a bad game or anything like that. I heard that it was kind of a gotcha game and that whenever anything cool or new got announced for Mega Man, it would always just be for X Dive, right? Like cool new armors, cool new characters, cool crossovers and stuff like that. And it's like, oh my god, it's going to fucking X Dive. Why can't we get a new Mega Man game? It's going to this gotcha shit. Right, and I get it. By the way, I just realized I was not paying attention. That fucking, that robot. <laughs> They're all robots, right? They're all robots. But this one was designed to just have her titties hanging out. The one with the purple hair, just, just mid drift and and bottom boob. Someone, someone put the plans in for that robot. All the other ones, you know, like, yeah, of course, the female robots are, you know, a little, a little scantily clad here with their battle armor, but they're pretty covered up for the most part. But her? Nah, man, her tits are just hanging out. And you know what? I I can't hate it. I can't hate it. My eyes are drawn to it. They have to be. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, that's the thing with X-Dive, but they're bringing it over, and I think it was Japan only, and they're bringing it over here, right? So... At least, at least Capcom's trying to show Mega Man some love again, right? You know, we had Mega Man 11 and all the, um, and all the, uh, collections and stuff, the Legacy Collection, the X Collection, and, um, uh, Legacy Collection, X Collection, the, uh, Zero Collection, and then the Battle Network Collection just came out. So, Mega Man is getting love. Listen, guys, listen, guys. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Get me my little collection for um for Mega Man Legends, okay? Right? I get that it's old. It's a PS1 game. I get it, but I don't give a fuck. Just release Legends 1, 2, and Trombone Adventures in a nice little collection for like maybe $30, right? I would be very happy, please. And then maybe one day we can get Mega Man Legends 3. <laughs> but don't let Inufune touch it. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Don't let him. I don't think after Mighty Number no. 9, he's done. And then I don't know what the fuck he's doing with Project Red Ash. I'm pretty sure that thing's dead in the water, right? Just drowning, swimming with the fishes. He's the one that fucking put the cinder block on it. But, um, fucking, you know, and then maybe, maybe, maybe you can try and do that weird edgy Mega Man thing. I mean, nobody really wants it, but what was it called? It's like Maverick Hunter X or something. Like, I know that's also the name of like the OVA they had, but I think that was also the name of like the edgy ass, like 2010 reboot they wanted to do for like the 360 and the, uh, and the uh, PS3. It was during the time when Capcom was like outsourcing, um, their IP to American studios. That's why we got Remember Me. Well, Remember Me is a new IP. That's why we got fucking DMC Devil May Cry. <laughs> right? And I forgot what other fucking game franchise they did. I think they did that with Resident Evil. That's probably why we got, um, it's probably why we got Raccoon City, honestly. Um, I think that's why we got Raccoon City. But, um, at least they're showing Mega Man love, right? You know, even if it's collections and stuff like that and letting people re uh, revisit these games and letting people, letting them revisit these games and letting new people see, like, some of the older games and, like, going, like, listen, maybe you don't have to play Mega Man X 6 and 7, but, yo, X 4 is, like, clean as shit. Maybe you don't got to play Mega Man fucking 5 and 6, but, like, 9 and 10 are really good and so is, so is fucking 2 and 3, right? I think 3 for, like, the classic Mega Man, right? I haven't played any of the uh I haven't played any of the uh zero games and I have not played any of the battle networks games. The only battle network game I know about is the one where they changed up the battle system to have like some weird random like random draw system which really fucked up the game. I think it was like Battle Network 6 maybe or 5 it, it, or 4. It was one of those three where like they changed the gameplay system and they fucked it up. Right, and then I heard that they fixed it later, or they went back to the older uh, gameplay system or something like that. But yeah, there was definitely that one Battle Network game that people just was like, "Yeah, no dog shit." Um. So yeah, that's Mega Man. Happy for it. Happy to see him back. Uh, you know, happy to see him get love. Street Fighter Six or Street Fighter Six. Uh, it's great. It's good. Go buy it. You will not be disappointed. Even if you hate fighting games, it is there for you to love it right so go and do that support it it's great i mean it don't need your support because it already sold super well 
at this point but like i mean it can't hurt to like you know buy some copies for your friends and your mother and your father and your family and your and your and your work and your co-workers and your classmates pragmata 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 <laughs> very uh very interesting when it was first announced it was very abstract i'll say right I think this is the first time the the dude in the astronaut suit had a voice, right? Also, this is a really cool way to kind of like do a little apology. She's like, what are you doing? Fucking come on, girl, pick up the pace. And she's like, hold up, hold up. I got to tell them. I got to tell them we're, we fucked up, all right? Sorry, sorry. We went and we went a new, deck, a new direction with the game, right? Or like we're redoing some stuff. Look at that fucking perfect witch time dodge. Either that or you got hit. Oh. I, I somehow clicked out of that by just clicking the mouse once. That was weird. Um, You know what? I kind of hope we never see the main character's face, right? Let her be the face of the game, right? She's, she's adorable. Of course, you know, I, I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm going to open Twitter and someone's going to have like a piece of artwork that's like, she's hanging out with Megan, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> she, I mean, come on, she, she, she. She kind of looks a bit like Megan. Let's be honest. She's a little robot girl, right? Um, obviously, she's important for some reason in the story. Either that or he has some attachment to her. If not, you're going to have some attachment to her at the end of it, right? Um, it looks like it's a character action game. It really does. At least from, like, this shit. Like, character action now, you know, switch between sword trick gun, sword trick son, royal guard. Right? That that fucking robot they were standing into next to had like a red hat on it. And it look it looks really clean. It looks really clean. And she's out here using fucking Final Fantasy shit. <laughs> out here using Tron's fucking limit break and and Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh but yeah, Pragmata's looking really good. Surprisingly for a game we have not seen that much of. Now that we've seen some of it. It looks really good and it looks pretty polished, but it does. But I think I personally think it looks really polished for what little that we see. But I think they just really want to save most of it because they feel like they have something special there, which it seems like they really do. So, you know, I'm really excited about that, especially since uh, it's only been uh, two years, maybe going on three years since it was announced, right? And then I want to look back on when Sinua Sacrifice 2 was announced because I, I swear it's been like four years maybe. It feels like it at least, right? So, you know what? It's nice. It's nice. I'm really excited for this, actually. I'm more excited for it now than I ever was before. It looks really great. Uh, Ghost Trick. Always looking... <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Did I really just pause on... <laughs> shoot the dog <laughs> it's so stupid oh man oh man it's so stupid it's great the dog's barking and wagging its tail and it's all happy and shit why you gotta shoot him i don't know which would be worse shooting the dog while he's happy and he knows he knows he doesn't know you're gonna kill him but he's happy he's seeing you he's happy to see you or just shooting the girl in cold blood while she's just not paying attention fucking have her brain splatter against the wall <laughs> fucking christ Fucking someone's brains are gonna splatter real quick. By the way, that tank has no fish in it. I guess maybe the small little, like, blue blue ovals in it are supposed to be the fish. Maybe that's weird. And also, is she eating donuts or bagels or whatever the fuck? I don't know. Or onion rings. I can't tell. Those are big things. But, um, Ghost Trick. I've, I'm always looking for a nice visual novel. I'm always looking for a visual novel. I'm always looking for a cool mystery game, room escape type game, right? Um, you know, anything like, anything like Danganronpa, Phoenix Wright, oh, speaking about things like Danganronpa, I forgot Code Rain, uh, Rain Code or Code Rain, I think that's coming out in like a month or two, so I'm excited for that, and then there's that other thing, that other anime thing that's not Danganronpa, but it looks like Danganronpa, where it's like police in cyberspace or some shit like that, fucking, I'm excited for those, uh, <laughs> police brutality, it's okay if we're in the mainframe, <laughs> it's not real, beat them down, but, um, but, you know, things like Room, Fact uh, Room Factory, that's a, that's a different game entirely. Things like uh, 
Danganronpa, Phoenix Wright, um, you know, <laughs> fucking Data Live. Yeah, that's right. I played those games. Um, Bible Black. <laughs> Things like, uh, you know, uh, what you call it? Zero Escape. Stuff like that. I'm always looking for new ones. Uh, what, what's another one that's kind of like pretty niche out there? Danganronpa's not really niche. Uh, Tokyo, what is it? Tokyo Ghost Session? No, 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 my bad. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Tokyo Mirage Session. No, what is it called? Uh, I'm about to say Ghostwire Tokyo. What the fuck is it called? Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. That one. Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. Daybreak. My bad. By the way, that thing has a great soundtrack. Sucks that that game did not sell that well, even though it has like a bunch of re-releases. But, uh, pretty cool. That game's pretty cool, too. I'm always looking for stuff like that. You know, I don't always have to play, like, super high-speed action, Hi-Fi Rush, Double May Cry, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Final Fantasy 16. By the way, if you want to see me play the demo for Final Fantasy 16, over there. Same thing with Lies of P. Check out my channel. But, um, yeah. You know, uh, you know, it's nice to slow down and play, like, games like these and just fucking have, like, a really good story and, like, fun little mysteries to solve. I kind of want to get into the Professor Layton games as well. Um, really excited for Ghost Trick because it's one of those games that I just skipped and I always was like I'm gonna go and check back on it one of these days right but nice to hear that this thing which is pretty much a niche game from what I can tell uh, is getting a re-release and hopefully it sells well because one of the things I was told that it has a really good plot twist or like it's either like a plot device or plot twist it is one of the two things that someone told me was like it's really really good and it's good like it's good story so really excited for that um i'm not gonna play the demo because i don't want to spoil it for myself when the game comes out right i know it's just the beginning but uh yeah we're gonna click over here and not fucking not really look at the image <laughs> I'm, I'm, i've got my eyes closed right now um i'm just clicking on it for for your benefit Listen, I said it earlier, right? If you want to hear my full thoughts on the Phoenix Wright, Phoenix Wright, I keep calling the Phoenix Wright, but I mean, it is the Phoenix Wright games. On the uh, Ace Attorney games, all those playthroughs are on my channel for the first game, second one, third one. That trilogy is so fucking clean and so good, and I love the characters, and like playing it on Twitch was definitely the way for me to play it because the uh, community, were they were so fucking great, and I hope to see them when I do... Uh, great ace attorney too um they were so great um you know sometimes during the danganronpa streams people would spoil shit but they were trying to be like coy about it right like oh man don't go this way wink wink right you know things like that but the uh but the phoenix right community nothing like that if i ever had a question like that you know what? Actually, that's a lie. I was about to say, if I ever had a question where I was stuck on something, they would help. No, they wouldn't help because half of them didn't even remember the answer. And then I would find out that, oh, wait, I had the answer, but I didn't answer it the way the game wanted me to, which is kind of a thing I didn't like about it. But you know what? It only happens a couple of times, so it's not that bad. Um, characters are great. Music great. Uh, most of the cases are great. I gotta say most of the cases because there is like maybe one or two that's just kind of, kind of might be boring. I'm trying to think right now as like which one would be the most boring in those games and like even if the most boring one was actually like really that boring and i don't think so out of any of the trilogy that any of them were like boring enough for me to not care i will say though if you're gonna watch my great ace attorney playthrough not it's not bad right <laughs> it's not bad the game's not bad but there is definitely like like one section of the game where I just completely got bored the entire time, but I was trying my best to make it through. I really was, right? But I heard that all that is built up for um for Great Ace Attorney 2, which I'll probably stream sometime next month. Um, since I'm changing up my streaming schedule and I'm definitely gonna be there. I'm definitely gonna be streaming more regularly now since I have the time to do that. But yeah. I hope I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to sell well enough for them to also bring over the Miles Edgeworth games, right? I think there's like two of them. Um, and then maybe after all this, just like with the Mega Man stuff, uh, maybe after all this, we can get like a new Ace Attorney, right? Um, it is a great, it is a great franchise so far from what I've seen. So now I'm going to skip ahead of that so I don't have to look at it no more. 
Capcom's having like their their little celebration thing on the website, whatever the fuck it was called. It, it's some somewhere around here. Here it is. That's pretty cool. It reminds me of when Devolver Digital. Oh my god, is Devolver Digital doing a show? Oh, they fucking better. Oh, they better be doing a fucking direct. Um, yeah, it reminds me when Devolver Digital did like a VR. They they went. I think it was on Steam. You can download it. It was like. It's like, oh, we can't go anywhere because of the quarantine, so we made a VR devol Devolver Digital like little play space for you to check out in VR, and that was really cool that they did that. Um, you can check it out. In, I believe you can check it out in VR, but even if you didn't have VR, you can play it like regularly, regularly too, like in flat screen, 2D, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check this out right and just. I'm not gonna like go crazy with this one. Is that Sanson down there? Oh my God, it's Sanson, and is that fucking Blodia? That is Blodia from Cyberbots. I'm looking at all this shit. There's a liquor down there. Uh, <laughs> a picture of Phoenix Wright, but uh, above it says Narohoto. And then there's Phoenix Wright and Maya down there. And then, you know, Monster Hunter. Uh, who the fuck is up there? Is that... I don't know who that is up there. Wearing, like, the blue and red. It's definitely not Dante and Virgil. Mega Man and, uh, and Rush. I don't know who the girl over here wearing like the little dress is on the left side. I don't know who that is. And I don't know what this uh what this spaceship is. I don't know I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know everything from Capcom, okay? I only know like a handful of things. Alright? But I'm su I'm surprised I'm I see Sansan down here. That's cool. Um And uh, you know, I'm gonna check that out, right? What else did they do? Uh Exoprimal. I mean I said all I can really say about it during the Xbox stuff. But uh, it's nice that they that they're like, okay, we listen to feedback and we're gonna try and do good on content and stuff like that. Uh, hope it sells well and I hope it lets them make a proper. <laughs> they're probably gonna put it under the Exo Primal name, but I, I would like to see another actual like proper Dino Crisis game, right? Because Dino Crisis Three was a shit show, and it's completely terrible and should not waste your time with it. Um. They showed a lot for Echo. They talked about that for a bit, huh? And then Dragon's Dogma. I kind of said all I can about the fuck. Hello? Why, why, am I, why am I getting a black screen? Okay, that was weird. Dragon's Dogma. I kind of said all I can about... People are yelling in my fucking background. People don't know how to calm the fuck down. Um, It's like, guys, inside voices, man. You ain't got to fucking scream. Right? Um... Dragon's Dogma 2. I mean, I said all I really can say about it. There's not much I can say about it because I haven't played the first one, really. All I can really say is from what I've heard, but first one's on sale, so I guess in my free time I can go and play around with that and have a good old time with that. Heard nothing but good things about it, so hopefully Dragon Dogma... And, you know, again, what I heard from people is that Dragon Dogma 2 seems to be trying to redo what the 1 did, but better. Um, Kind of like with Borderlands 2. If you want to see my Borderland co-op playthrough, head over to my Twitch, because I haven't uploaded it on YouTube yet. And I gotta edit that stuff up. So, uh, yeah, over at my Twitch, you can check that whole playthrough. You want to see us go through Borderlands 1 co-op, right? It was the first, I will say the first part, very sad. We were very sad. First time playing Borderlands 1. And then after that, I said, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look up some stuff. <laughs> Crunch some numbers. And then after that, the playthroughs were pretty fun way better right so part two and onward was great um for those streams head over to my description below check it out on, on my twitch it's great you'll enjoy it hopefully maybe if not then check out the uh resident evil 5 co-op playthrough when that shows up on youtube that one will be definitely way more fun because it's nothing but fun the entire time and jokes a lot of jokes <laughs> we're in africa <laughs> it's okay what happened when you put two black gamers in a game about about being Chris Redfield in Africa? You get a lot of jokes. Um, but yeah, fucking Dragon's Dogma looks cool. I'm gonna go play the first one, and then yeah, that's all I can really say about that. And then that's all they showed. That what, what did they they ended on Dragon's Dogma, right? Yep, they did. All right. And then they got that mean ass sale going on. Why is it showing me a black screen? Stop doing that. They got the anniversary sale going on on Steam right now. You should, and on PlayStation, Xbox, I assume. You should check that out um, because I checked it out earlier this week. Um, well, not earlier this week. I checked it out yesterday and like it's nothing but like really good games on there for like great prices. 
Except for Remember Me. Remember Me is not a good game. <laughs> it's not. Buy it at your own. Uh, it's not terrible. It's just very mediocre. Very average. Which is, in my opinion, worse than a bad game. Because at least a bad game, you can laugh at it. Right? An average game is just there and boring. But, uh, all of it great prices. If you've been waiting to get, like, the older, the older Resident Evil remakes and stuff, um, you know, like Resident Evil 2, 3, and... Uh, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 0, right? All those remakes. Go buy that. If you want some Monster Hunter, go buy that. You know, Dragon's Dogma 1, that's on sale. Go buy that. The Phoenix uh, the Phoenix Wright trilogy and the uh, Great Ace Attorneys are on sale as well for a really good fucking price. Oh my god. ten, Not even $10 USD. Uh, like nine fifty something USD for the trilogy. And then I think it's like 15 maybe 15 bucks Or 13 or 12 for the uh, Great Ace Attorney ones. I want to point out, I bought those on, I bought, well, the first, well, the trilogy I bought on, uh, you know, PS4 when the PS5 came out, so fucking, I think it was on sale when I bought it, maybe, I don't know, but, uh, Great Ace Attorney, I bought that full price on fucking, <laughs> on the Switch, right, and even I, even though I didn't enjoy the first one as much as the trilogy, uh, I'm assuming I'm really gonna enjoy the second one, but, um, I still think it was worth it, it was still a fun time going through it, right? So, that's everything for the Capcom stuff. All my predictions and discussion and whatever. You know, if you got anything you really want to talk about or, or tell me your ideas about, head to the comments below. I will read them. I will. I promise you. You know? If you want to tell me that I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about, that's cool too. Right? Um, if you really want to help out the channel, click that like button. Subscribe to me. You know? Down in the description. Link to my Twitch. Check that out. Link to my Twitter. Follow me there. Help me out. Um, you know, and then, uh, just make sure you click that bell too. I got to say all this dumb YouTube shit. Make sure you click that bell too, to get notifications, um, for my channel for uploads, right? Help me out. Please go back on my other videos and like them all too. Uh, <laughs> go check some playthroughs. Listen, if you really like Capcom, if you really like, I'm not, I'm not even lying right now. If you really do like Ace Attorney, go back please it's in a nice playlist for you to the ace attorney uh, ace attorney phoenix Wright trilogy stuff on my channel those streams please go back because th those were some of the most fun that i had recording games honestly and it was a visual novel right so that says a lot that says a lot for how much enjoyment i had for that um yeah so that's everything i want to say so as always i want to say thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video, right? And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.